Greetings comrades, Sumit Gaming here. The new patch introduced new hero Cecilia in AFK Arena on the test server and actually looking at her art, she is really really hot so I wanna test her out and we'll do it right now. So as I predicted she is an inquisitor purger of sins Cecilia. Her dialogue options are sound scary. <laughs> oh my god, she disappears. Her art looks pretty cool. I don't know a lot about the story but I can tell you that she have something Trust about indoor. purging the evil Trust thing. Old. But before we start, I wanted to do one little thing, that is to subscribe to this channel, hit that bell button and hit that like button to promote the video in YouTube algorithms. Thank you very much. Let's take a look at her uh, ultimate ability, Judgment Day. Um, this ability is uh, working around the mechanic that's called Symbols of Sin, which has been assigned to an enemy on her attacks. We'll talk about it a little bit later. But what does it do? It does 300% damage to enemy, increasing symbols of sin by one. When enemy have three or more symbols, it also stuns them for a period of time. We don't know for how long. And when there is five symbols, which is maximum, she will do additional 300% damage. So it's 600% damage for fully um, sinned enemy, I guess. <laughs> Uh, next one is Blade of Purification. This is a three-stage attack that deals 90% damage each. This is automatic skill and that one, each time this ability is used, uh, increases the enemy symbols of sin by one. So this is how enemies are getting the symbols of sin. The damage caused by this ability increased by 10% for every additional symbol that enemy is marked with and enemies may be marked by maximum five symbols. On level 2 this ability's cooldown time is ignored every time a normal attack produces a critical strike. So basically on the critical they will get additional uh, usage of this skill I guess. And level 3 and level 4 just increase its damage. Then we have two other of her abilities that are really interesting. The first one is the Tornment. Cetilia does not appear immediately at the beginning of the battle, but instead appears behind an enemy that mirrors your formation position, unleashing 3 stage attack on them, dealing 115% damage per attack to them, while also marking them with 3 symbols of sin. On level 2 it will be marked with 5 symbols of sin, on level 3 it will be higher damage. So, Cecilia appears just like Athelia. She is appearing behind an enemy already and uh, her placement is really important. And I think this atonement skill works really well in conjunction with Blade of Purification and Judgment Day because the enemy she will be appear after will be already on 5 scenes and he will get the most damage from all the abilities. Then we have Devil's Trap. Cecilia creates a divine circle that encompasses her enemies. All enemies within the divine circle have their attack rating reduced by 60% and first time enemy tries to exit the circle it will take 320% damage and higher levels increase the damage so this is some sort of your defensive ability for herself oh yeah and i almost forgot she's considered to be agility based hero she's been placed as a ranger endures celerity on the tree and uh she's assassin you will see why in a few minutes before we go to the actual combat let's go take a look at the signature item her signature item is really interesting because it says that all elite heroes including cecilia recover 200 energy point and total equivalent of 150 percent worth of cecilia's attack rating as health over five seconds whenever the ability judgment judgment day kills an enemy in less than five seconds at high levels it just increase the recovery stuff and everything it also gives some critical and dodge so it's really nice so as long as this ability kills someone uh signature item will trigger recovery on all the team and that's really nice let's test her and see how abilities look like so yeah as you can see she appeared right behind the enemy caster and totally decimated him this is the ring that have enemies attack lowered. Actually, I think that she is really strong. I'll compare her to Athelia or Kaz. In terms that she is really, really good single target DPS. Look at this. She's decimating all the enemies really, really fast. We can't even collect a lot of sims on enemies because they are dying way too fast. So this is no way to test a hero. She looks pretty cool, but let's move on to the actual combat. So we are getting her over here in the mercenary encampment. And boom, we have that little lady over here. Unluckily she isn't mythic yet so we can't see her signature item but most of her skills are already level 3 and level 2 so most uh, mechanics are introduced already. Let's give it a shot. Okay I think this will be not the fairest comparison but something close to that. Uh, for example we would like to take out Athelia and we'll be placing Belinda here. Mm, I think we will try it like this like but let's see how she's in this fight if 
uh, Belinda and all the other teammates will kill enemies too fast, we will replace them with the weaker heroes and see. Alright, yeah, she appears right behind Shemira. She didn't got five five stars. The sins are increasing. She got four sins already. Five sins on Shemira and the ultimate is up. And Shemira is one shot at Oh! That is really good! I never expected her to be that efficient, because she... Wow! <laughs> she just decimated her. Let's try to put her against, against Numisu now and see how he will be able to withstand her rage. This is really cool that she appears right behind an enemy and uh, opening up with additional rage already. Uh, uh, yeah, she is really good, guys. I didn't expect her to be that effective. I think, I think she's really nice. I'm trying to pick the relics that won't boost my team that much, so the power will be kind of the same, so I won't overpower the enemies. Uh, this time I want to go against Nemora, and I think I'll replace Belinda with someone weaker. So she won't decimate everyone really fast. And we will have a chance, let's put Estrilda here, yeah, and we will have a chance to actually see her in action, how defensive she is, how good she behaves. Whoa, 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 man, guys, she is really good, uh, unluckily she was banished by Tessie, but that doesn't stop her, and the judgment, and she's, yeah, Nemora survived the judgment, Nemora survived the judgment, but overall, her damage output is kinda crazy. Let's go for stronger enemies. Yeah, this is just a warm-up. <laughs> yeah, I really like her, guys. The only drawback that uh, when Atelia drops, the enemies are being stunned because she is kinda moving them around and they can do stuff. Over here, Cecilia doesn't stun the enemy, but her damage output is... I should say it's really significant. I don't know how it will be in the end game, but so far... She is one of the best damage dealers I saw in the game. Alright, stuff is getting serious here. The enemies are high level. Let's see what will happen if we'll put her against Shimira again. I guess... Well, Shimira is usually the main problem of all the enemy teams. And uh, Cecilia should counter that pretty good. Specifically since Shimira is uh, Graveborn. And they kind of counter the light bearers. But it doesn't stop her. Look at the... <laughs> she just decimated her. And now Cassus. Cassus is next one. Boom! Cassus is dead. And just imagine with the signature item, every that kill will recover everyone's energy and everyone's health. That is so the goddamn crazy, guys. I think she's really good. I think she will be placed in a really high rank in the, you know, uh, tier, hero tier list. Okay, guys, we are going crazy and going against the enemies that are stronger than our team. And we'll be focusing on Sevias because he has so much DPS and see how it goes. Interesting. I'm really interested in how it will go. She have really high energy. So, oh, oh, Sevias is dead. No, it's, he's not. He isn't dead yet, but he is going to be dead soon. Yep. I can say that your skill set is really nice. She She's a really burst damage dealer. Yeah, too bad that Brutuses have those goddamn shields that can be broken that easily. But, as long as the shield is broken, everyone is taking so much damage. This is really interesting. I, I thought that I would die to this fight because the enemies are so strong. Oh god. Look at the look at this fight. It's taking so long because we don't have the burst uh, AOE damage dealer and all the totems are kind of distracting our guys. But we are still winning this and nobody does well, mostly because of Lucius shields. But Cecilia is doing her part by decimating enemy backline slowly. Yeah, everyone is focusing on the totems. Oh, that that he totally decimated him. Ho ho ho! Unexpected development, guys. So what can I say, guys? I think Cecilia will be really good against the boss fight, specifically Riz, because he is a Mauler and she is a light bearer, so she has a bonus against him. Uh, overall, my main concern about her that uh, her signature item is working around finishing of the enemy, so for the boss fight it won't be that useful. Overall, I think she will be a good addition to any light bearer focus team because 
She can point out one enemy and finish him off. I think she will work really well with the Talia together because they can take out two enemies and they both are really good assassins. So she can a lot of promise in the future. Let's try, let's actually try putting Athelia here as well and see how it will go. No this will be really interesting, so those guys will be totally out of combat because that one will be stunned and that one will be decimated by Cecilia. Alright, Athelia incoming. Yeah, so together they, were, they work really well as well. Athelia is actually kicking the enemy out a little bit, so it's a different story. She is more about crowd control and AoE damage as well, but Cecilia is totally single target damage. So even though all the guys were focused on Athelia's target, Cecilia finished four target faster. That was unexpected. Alright, and the last move, we are going against the strongest enemy in this map without getting any useful relics. They are like uh, two times stronger than our basic strength and our relics don't give us any boosts. Athelia will be kicking and Kira and uh, Cecilia will be on the overall damage on the back lines. Let's see how it will work. I, I wonder if we'll be able to beat it because I'm afraid that we should be losing this fight. If we will win this, that will be crazy. Look at it, she already have four sins on this enemy. Holy, it's a havoc. Boom, dead. Going for another one. Yeah, I think because of Lucius, we won't die. This is really crazy. I didn't expect it to work out because we are so much weaker. Atel is dead, alright. Lucius, don't don't fail us. Boom, focusing on Lucius. I don't know why she's focusing on Lucius right now. Where is she? I, I don't see her. Yeah, she's right here and she's taking uh, a lot of damage and not really dying. Dodging, she's dodging a lot. Her dodge should be really high. So yeah, we won. We won, guys. I didn't expect it to happen, but we actually won the enemies that are 1.5, well, like 50% stronger than we are. I think that she can be a really good addition to any light bearer team. Most likely, she will be contesting for the spot with folks because folks have the crowd control ability. He can take out one of the enemies, but her DPS is so much higher. She she's one of the best single target DPS in the whole game so far, I think, because I haven't saw anyone taking out enemies that efficiently. And moreover, she can give a good boost to the team while healing enemies for the fights by recovering the energy and health. So. Yeah, I think she is really nice. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button, hit that like button, write in the comments, Cecilia is the best character in the world. And if you want, you can go over to my social networks, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, or join the Discord to be part of a fantastic community, all the links are in the description. And uh, yeah, I'll be waiting for you over there, guys. Thank you for watching, Serve it out, bye.